everybody. I've been to um, I've been to a lot of rap parties, but I got to tell you that this is probably the most fun, the most interesting. Tonight is an evening for young people who have a desire to be in the entertainment business. We are here with the cast and crew of Lit, a film by Robert Golfin, along with a host of industry insiders for an evening of networking and information specifically for young people interested in the film business. We have an interesting program this evening and it would be very difficult to make a film in the city of Philadelphia without contacting the proper channel. More specifically, the Greater Philadelphia Film Office. Tonight, we are honored with the presence of Ms. Sharon Pinkinson, who's the director of the Greater Philadelphia Film Office. She will be introducing the film's director, Robert Golfin is a 16-year-old filmmaker and a student at the Philadelphia High School for the Creative and Performing Arts. Robert began reading at age three, and by age seven, he began composing his own stories. As he got older, his interest further developed and was heightened even more upon discovering a place in Willow Grove, Pennsylvania, called Cinekid, a communication arts facility for young people ages seven to 18. Here, Robert learned all three phases of filmmaking and development. Now, Robert has produced Lit, as you all know, a film that speaks to teens about the dangers of tobacco use. Lit stars local professional actors, over 60 teens, and several extras. Lit focuses on the actions of a group of teens who are devastated by the death of a favorite teacher who has died of lung cancer. Robert used a multicultural cast because the epidemic of teens and tobacco use is nationwide and international, and I might add pervasive. The Greater Philadelphia Film Office, which you just heard is regional, not just the city, is very committed to helping young people, and there's a lot of exciting and talented young people in this room tonight and throughout the city and the region. And I'm, I'm very proud of Robert, who came to me quite some time ago with his first project, and I want you to know that every young person who comes into our office gets treated just like he was an Academy Award winning director with a huge budget from Disney. But I do have an opportunity and I am very proud now to introduce the director, Robert Goldman. Congratulations. Well, now I'd like to introduce Miss Pennsylvania. Um, I just want to say I'm very honored to be here tonight. Um, it's a pleasure to meet Robert. He seems like such a talented young man. And, um, I wish him all the best with the film. I can't wait to see it. Rick Hopkins, who is a local filmmaker, and he wants to come up and talk about a business. Well, I'm going to let him do the conversation. I saw Robert in an interview that he did on television. I was really impressed with Robert. And uh, I've been in industry now for about three years. Uh, I've worked on a lot of independent films. Uh, I just got new doing uh, Oliver Stone film with, with The Corruptors, with Chayun Fa. Mark Wahlberg and Sean Penn. Well, can we have a round of applause, please, for Mike Wilson? Welcome to Vegas Fair for a couple years in Philadelphia. Uh, this is a great guy. I'm just so happy that we've done a great job. Jackie A. Fulton, who is a consultant, talent scout, and manager for direction and exposure. Good evening. This is really very exciting for me. I just learned about Robert, and when Robert called me and invited me, his presentation was so professional that I just knew he was somebody I wanted to know. Quiet Tip Productions. Uh, my name is Deborah Phelps, and I have a company called Quiet Tip. I'm a management company. I have models, actors, singers, dancers, musicians, chefs, bartenders wardrobe stylist, whatever you want to say in entertainment. Sapphire Casting. First of all, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Gregory Hurd, and I'm the CEO and Chairman of Sapphire Casting. Um, we're one of the newest casting companies in Philadelphia. We've been in existence now three years. I'd like to introduce my staff, the uh, CEO and President of Sapphire Casting, Ms. Kim Hurd. And also, Assistant Casting Director, Mr. Clarence Hester. I would now like to introduce one of my former, one of our former classmates at the High School for Performing Arts, Camilla. Um, recently I just got back from Africa and Italy. Um, I was part of the Forerunners International Institute program this summer, Journey to Freedom. And a young fellow, Lee Owens, and I we're doing a video documentary on our experiences in Africa. I'm very happy um, for my friend Robert. Um, 
I had a feeling that it was him. I didn't know if it was him, his film tonight, but when I came in, I just knew it had to be him. And I'm very proud of Ryan for your accomplishments, and I wish you all the success with your film. I've just been told that my director of photography wants to come up and make a statement. Ryan Thomas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was nice working with us. I want to be a filmmaker, but for the time being, I wanted to work with Robert to get experience in the film. So, with an invite, if anybody willing to let me be an intern on their production company or work with them, here's my card. <laughs> Give it out to y'all. One of my own uh, actresses who also has her own casting agency, Miss Rose Lassen. I have a management company. I, I uh, manage models and actors, and we're a company that's brand new. We're in business only a year and a half, but we're making leaps and bounds. And I want to say congratulations to Robert. It's very uh, always wonderful to see a young talent uh, express his views in such a positive way. From the Will Parker Makeup and Wardrobe. I show up. I do my job. I don't get the kudos. My name's on the title. That's all right. Kristen wants to say something. If you ever need any modeling jobs, call me. Um, uh, Robert? Nice. Um, no, but it was lots of fun um, working with Robert. Um, but it, it's a lot of hard work, but it's really fun, and um, I really like acting, so give me a call. <laughs> Alright, that's all I have to say. Bye. I'm also the founder of the upcoming African American Legends called The People That I Got Things in the Community, like the likes of Austin Good, Trudy Haynes, and um, Chuck Patra, all these great people. And uh, Cody Anderson, and we're having it again this year. But I'm proud to say Robert was our youngest one to be inducted into this upcoming Hall of Fame, and I think he deserves a big hand for that. Losers, let it happen. Robert Coffin is a true winner. He's making it happen. He's got power. Hi. Who should I speak to? I'll miss you. If he has um. That concludes, I hope, the talking portion of tonight's event, so 818. For the next hour or so, you can mingle and uh, give your cards out. Thank you very much, and have a good evening.